It's really depressing. <laughs> Everything's expensive. Life sucks. Let's go. Ooh, a shiny face because of this heat. Hello everyone. Welcome back to another video on my channel. I wasn't really in the mood to do this video because I'm depressed about our finances or lack thereof, but I figured I'll do a little haul video for you guys. But as usual, first I need to feed these children. The big kid has a nice block, so he's happy for now. It is damn hot. Uh, if you are in Queensland, <laughs> You will understand what I mean. So yeah, we went to the fruit mart and then we went to Coles and did the rest. It's really depressing. <laughs> Everything's expensive. Life sucks. Let's go. All right, so we're hauling on the lounge because once again, my life is a mess. So we went to the discount fruit mart in Waterford just to try and um, get some fruit and veg, the little bit that we needed a bit cheaper because these babies like to devour all sorts of fruits, don't you? Yes. Okay, so we got some grapes. The grapes were $9.90 a kilo and we got a kilo, so it was about $10.11. Bag of zucchinis for three bucks, which is pretty good. I'll be making more zucchini fritters this week, a pie, a few things like that that zucchinis are going in. We got a green apple for Ashton. The Granny Smith apples are $4.99 a kilo, so that apple was $1.33. Some Ladyfinger bananas, 791 grams at $4.99 a kilo, gave us $3.95 for Ladyfingers. There's about five there, I think, so. A cut pumpkin, nearly a kilo, 911 grams, $3.49 a kilo, so $3.18 for that. And then some berries, raspberries, $1.99 a punnet, and the blueberries were two for $5. So yeah, $2.50 each for those. And that is the <laughs> fruit and veg haul, basically. I only got one meat thing from Coles, so I didn't bother going into the discount meat mart because I just couldn't be bothered. So here is the very sad Coles haul. The Coles, oh I should tell you I suppose. So the, the fruit and veg mart came to $28.55 which is alright. Coles is not alright. It came to $169.53 and that's like one thing of meat. There's some ham but literally guys like... What is it? What what are we paying for here? I don't know. The taco kit, okay, that's $9.50. We're doing tacos. We've got chicken in the freezer. We're going to do some chicken tacos. And that's why I bought this little salad mix there. That salad mix, green goddess salad kit, $5.50. Should have been about two bucks if you ask me. So the nappies, as usual, $16.00. These are like kind of the mid-range, I guess. The cub ones, which are like $5 cheaper, are just shit. Like, nah. So we get we get these ones. So 16 bucks for them. Carry Care Formula, $21. That's what it is all the time. We are thankfully coming to the end of formula feeding for these two because they are 12 months this month. And yeah, mummy's done, isn't she? She's done with buying formula. So you guys are going to stop drinking it. Yes. So, yeah, I just got one tin today. So we've got a couple of tins. But, yeah, I think that's basically that may, guys, just be the last tin of formula we ever buy. Cub wipes. We get these wipes. They're the cheapest ones uh, besides the normal cub ones, which are $2. These are $2.80. I would much rather spend the eight, uh, extra 80 cents because these are really, like, nice and wet and... The amount of times a day that we are cleaning butts in this house, we need it. I got some Arnott's Vita Wheat biscuits just because I just wanted to have something like that that I'm going to boil some eggs and do for lunches and I can do that and the kids can eat that as well because one, it's really hot. It's too hot to be having cooked lunch or anything and two, it's just like a cheap lunch option. I got some pear slices. 
in a tin there I'm doing pear and raspberry muffins again I haven't done muffins for a couple of weeks with the babies because they kind of got over them but I mean I don't know I can't think of anything else to give them as snacks and easy things like that tinned tomatoes a dollar fifty each I'm just getting these ones because the Coles ones are a dollar ten but they're just not as nice and then at least these aren't the most expensive ones but they're nice at least so I got two of them, so $3 for tin tomatoes. Need them for the cannelloni that I'm making and the pie. Two minute noodles, $10 as per use. I think it's a 12 pack. Edgel corn, I just got the smaller corn this time because I don't really think I need to be using the bigger tin for the zucchini and corn fritters. So it's nice to have some leftovers sometimes, but it's not a huge deal. So two of those corns, $1.60 uh, each, $3.20. I got some ground nutmeg here that I'm going to just fill into the um, dispenser that we already have because that was the cheaper way to do it. Only by about 10 or 20 cents, but still. So the ground nutmeg, $2.50. Minced garlic because I am sometimes cheating with garlic. So sometimes I'll chuck some minced garlic in to some of the recipes as well as chopping up garlic or just if I'm doing like gnocchi bake for the babies I'll just put the minced garlic in and that's it minced garlic Coles brand $1.25 Coles tomato sauce refill was the cheaper one two liters for $5.30 now I got some of these little freckle things for Ashton because I can't help myself they are uh it was two dollars twenty i just got like this little amount here just for a treat for him later so that's those what are we up to oh so the arnott's plain biscuits was two for four dollars so i got the marie ones and then i got um a pack of nice and i've put them in the um in the container already because the babies had one with their lunch it's just it's good getting those plain biscuits because the babies can eat them it's just like a little easy thing that they can have i got cannelloni for two dollars sixty i'm making cannelloni tonight spinach and ricotta spinach i got this spinach as opposed to the frozen spinach because it came like in a bigger serve and a couple of tomatoes $6.90 a kilo, so $1.97 for those two. I got a red onion for our tacos, 54 cents. We get Zimmel milk because we're lactose free in this fam bam. And I did get the big one again. I don't think mum's going to be joining us this week, but Ashton's been having um, milk every couple of days, so which is fine. I'm happy for him to have that, but we get the Zimmel, uh, so that's $6.80. White sandwich loaf, $2.70. Eggs, free range Coles eggs, $5.60 for a 700 gram. Now this ham I'm a bit sad about. I didn't really, like I know that it's the expensive ham, but it's nice. But I only got 300 grams, but it's like $10 because it's ridiculous. So anyway, $9.90 for the hickory smoked ham, but we'll do some toasties and whatnot with that. I got the Devondale butter this time. We usually get Western Star, but this one was like $1.40 cheaper. And it was on special and it's the same size. So I just got that because we did need one butter. So that was $5.60, I believe, for the butter. No, $5.90. Okay, scratch that. It's only a dollar ten cheaper, but still. I got perfect Italiano roll ricotta, five hundred grams for seven dollars. Beef three star mince a kilo for eleven dollars. And then all these squeezy yogurts that the boys have, they're back to being seventy five cents. I don't know what happened, guys. They changed to eighty five cents, but now they're back to seventy five cents. I don't know if a heap of people complained or what happened. But anyway, the Coles squeezy. Oh, the milk milk has just committed suicide. He's just gone. I'm not doing this anymore. I am falling over. I'm creating a scene. Uh, yeah, so those yogurts, they're 75 cents each. And I got 11, I got about 15. So, you know, whatever. You do the maths. I'm not good at maths. 
And then the last thing is these little fruit snacks for the babies. I got four because the little bellies are two dollars each, and then the only organic they were one dollar fifty. So I just got like one of each. So they have two each for this week. <coughs> yeah, because that's all we can basically afford. And the sad, sad thing, guys, was that was one hundred and sixty nine fifty five, and that's what we got. That's what we got for basically one hundred and seventy dollars. So I did $20 on flybys, flybys dollars. I did $115 20 cash and I did like $34.35 from our other card. And now we have basically $35 to our name. No, probably about $30, $30 left at the moment. So yes, we do have some cash in our envelopes and stuff that we're saving. Like, you know, we're not going to die, but yeah, it's very, very tough times at the moment. And I was going to try and work this week. I don't know if they're going to have my relief teaching profile and everything up ready for me to work anyway. So, you know, who even knows, but I don't think mum can come now. And Ashton's the only one enrolled at daycare at the moment. The twins don't start till next year. So I need someone to watch the twins if I want to do a day's work. And I was doing that to help us out for Christmas. But I guess now Christmas can just be cancelled. Nah, just kidding. What's wrong, baby? Mommy, it's going to go eat. Those ones, they're for the babies. Do you want a yogurt? Mummy got new yogurts for you. You can pick a yogurt. Okay, so yeah, that's probably just like a really short and sweet haul video. But it's hot as hell here i'm over it these babies are finished so they're staring at me and going goo goo ga ga get us out of our seats we want to go and run amok in the house so and i've got to put these groceries away so that's our little haul for this week a couple hundred dollars for no it's not an apple it's a tomato and it's daddy's so just be careful with it two tomatoes yeah Okay, I'm gonna go have a nice day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in another video. Two tomatoes, one onion. <sighs> you're so cheeky. You're so cheeky. Hello, Ollie. Wow.